Good morning students and welcome to today's maths class. So in the previous class we finished the last chapter that was shapes. Correct. So in today's class we will be starting with a new chapter that is called subtraction. So we will study what is subtraction today. So previously you all have studied how to subtract two numbers by taking away a number from it. Correct. How to subtract two things by taking away. And then you'll, I think you'll have also done subtraction by number line, right? So and today we'll see what is subtraction. Then we'll do a quick uh, warm up activity which is there in your book to see what you'll have learned in first standard about subtraction. And then we will study subtraction of two digit numbers, three digit numbers, and so on. Okay. So what does subtraction mean? Subtraction means to take away something. Okay, so for example, I have uh, five chocolates with me. Okay, and I want to give you two chocolates. So, I'm taking away two chocolates from that five and giving you all two. Correct, so five minus two. Now, I gave you all two chocolates. So, how many will be left with me? I'll be left with three. So, I took away uh, two from five chocolates. Okay, so subtraction means to take away something. Then, we always subtract a smaller number from a larger number. We always subtract a smaller number from a larger number. The result of subtraction is called a difference. What is a result of subtraction called? It is called difference. Okay. So, subtraction is signified by the minus sign. Subtraction is signified by minus. This is the minus sign. Okay, so sub, uh, you'll have done subtraction on number line, correct? So we'll just see how to do subtraction on number line first and then we'll solve a few problems. Okay, so 9 minus 6 is equal to 3. So how will we do that? First on a number line, we'll search where's the number 9. Okay, we got the number 9. Now what we do? We go count backwards 6 steps. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So where did we reach? Which number did we reach by counting backwards? On the number line, we reach the number 3. So 9 minus 6 is equal to 3. Okay, then 1 minus 1. So we start from one of the number line and count backwards. So 1 minus 1 means we'll count one step backwards. So how much is 1 minus 1? 1 minus 1 is 0. So whenever you subtract a number from itself, you get the answer as 0. Okay, then 7 minus 4. How do you do 7 minus 4? So, we'll start from 7 and count 4 steps backwards. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, when we do count 4 steps backwards, we get 3. So, 7 minus 4 is equal to 3. Okay, then 8 minus 4. So how do you do 8 minus 4? We start from 8 and count 4 steps backwards. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, which number we reached here? We reached the number 4. So, 8 minus 4 is equal to 4. Then, 4 minus 4. So, again, start on 4. So, 4 is here on the number line. And then, count 4 steps backwards. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 4 minus 4 is 0. So, I just now told you, alright? So, whenever you subtract a number from itself, you get the answer as 0. So, when you, if you subtract 20 minus 20, you will get 0. 56 minus 56 is 0. Okay, so when you subtract a number from itself, you get the final difference as 0. So, what is the meaning of difference? Difference is nothing but the answer you get when you subtract two numbers. Alright, so let's see a few questions on what you have done already in first standard. So, subtraction page number 112 in your books. Okay, so first fill in the blanks. So, what's the first question? There are five apples in the basket. Okay, so there's a basket and there are five apples in the basket. So, Sham has taken away two. So, Sham, what he did? He took two away, apples away from the basket. So, how many apples are left in the basket? Now, I'm, I'll take away two from the basket. So, how many will be left? Three will be left. Okay, so number of apples left is 3. Then, 7 friends are standing in a line. Okay, so there are 7 friends who are standing in a line together. 
then from those seven friends two walk away okay so two friends walk away so now how many friends will be left in the line how many still remain so if you remove two friends from the line five will be left in the line okay so seven minus two is five all right so this is how you do taking away then subtract and write the answer so first let's count how many total oranges are there so we have one two three four five six seven so total we have seven oranges so we write that here first then minus how many uh, oranges have they cancelled out like this how many have they crossed out one two three so seven minus three okay so first in the first box you write the total number of oranges in the second box you will write how many have they crossed out and in the third box you will write the oranges how many are left so how many are left one two three four so seven minus three is equal to four okay seven minus three is equal to four okay let's turn the page and do the next page now here are some bags how many bags are there here we have one two three four five six seven eight so total number of bags are eight so we'll write eight in the first box then what do we write in the second box we'll write how many they have crossed out so one two and three so eight minus three so how much is eight minus three we'll count the number of bags which are here so one two three four five so eight minus three is equal to five okay so this was another kind of subtraction now subtraction on the number line okay so we just saw how to do that so 18 minus 4 is equal to 14 so this they have already done so here what we do we start with number 18 so 18 is here on the number line and then we count four steps backwards so 1 2 3 4 so what is the number you reach you reached 14 so 18 minus 4 is 14 okay so let's do the next one so we have 12 minus 6 so let's start with 12 12 is over here then we'll count six steps backwards so one two three four five six so we counted six steps backwards one two three four five six so what's the number over here that is there it is six so 12 minus 6 is equal to 6. Okay, 12 minus 6 is 6. Then 15 minus 7. So we start with 15 on the number line. 15 is here. Correct, so 15. So we'll count 7 steps backwards. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we counted 7 steps backwards. Let's count once again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So what's the number here now? 8. So 15 minus 7 is equal to 8. Okay, so 15 minus 7 is equal to 8. Now, subtract the shaded squares from the total number of squares. So first here they have asked how many squares are there? First uh, and how many are shaded and how many are not shaded so first what we have to do they have told subtract shaded squares from total number of squares so first we will count total number of squares then we will count the shaded squares ok so let's do that so first how many squares are there in total what you can do you can count like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 then 7 8 9 10 11 12 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. You can individually count the squares or you can count the number of rows. Number of rows here is 1. This is 2, 3, 4. These are 4 rows and columns. These are columns. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there are 4 rows and 4 columns sorry six columns so to find the total number of boxes what you can do you can just do four into six four six that is 24 so total boxes is 24 so in the first box here we'll write 24 okay 24 then how many shaded boxes are there let's count the number of shaded squares 
so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen so we have seventeen shaded squares okay so how much is twenty four minus seventeen so how will you find that so to find twenty four minus seventeen you will see how many squares are not shaded so how many are not shaded one two three four five six seven so seven are not shaded okay so 24 minus 17 is equal to 7 so that is total squares minus shaded squares you will get the squares which are unshaded next one so how many are the total squares we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 so the total squares are 18 then shaded squares are how many 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so 18 minus 10 so what is the answer you will count the number of squares which are not shaded so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 correct so 18 minus 10 is 8 okay 18 minus 10 is it. So this is, was a quick warm up activity on your subtraction what you have learned in first standard. Now what we are going to do is we are going to study what is subtraction without regrouping. So we did addition with regrouping without regrouping. Same way subtraction also will be doing without regrouping and with regrouping. So first we will study uh, subtraction without regrouping then we will see what is subtraction with regrouping. Alright. Okay, so you'll have studied subtraction of two digit numbers in first standard. So let's uh, revise that and see how to do more. Okay, for example, they have told subtract 14 from 56. So you have 56 blocks here. So to subtract 14 from that, you can strike out 14 blocks. So you'll strike out 1, 10 and 4, 1s. So when you do that, how many... Uh, 10s are left you have 1 2 3 4 10s left and 2 ones left okay first subtract the ones and then the tens so 6 minus 4 is how much if you take away a 2 from 6 sorry 4 from 6 2 will be left so 6 minus 4 is 2 and then we'll subtract the tens 5 minus 1 so if you take away 1 from 5 4 will be left so we have 4 tens and Two ones, which is 42 okay so this is how you do subtraction of numbers without regrouping so subtract by crossing out blocks as shown above okay so just as we saw now we have to strike out and subtract so let's do that okay so we have to do 56 minus 35 so here there are 56 blocks now you have to uh, strike out 35 blocks from that so that is 35 means 3 tens and 5 ones. So first we'll block out, uh, strike out the 5 ones. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Correct. So we strike out how many? 5 ones. And then we'll strike out 3 tens. So this is 1 ten, 3, 2 and 3. So how many tens are left? We have two tens left. So this is two. We'll write two here. Two tens. And how many ones are left? One one. So the, what is the answer? Two tens and one one makes twenty one. Okay. So this is how you do subtraction using by crossing out blocks. Okay. We'll do the next one in the textbook only. Alright. So let's continue with textbook now. Okay, so we did this one just now, right? 56 minus 35. So we striked out 6 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So Sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5. So here 1, 1 is left. And then we striked out 3, 10. So that is 1, 2 and 3. So how many 10s are left? 2 10s are left. So the answer here is 20. 
one. Okay, next one, 69 minus 45. So total here we have 69 blocks in that we have to cut out or cross out 45 blocks. So first let's cut out the ones. So five, so one, two, three, four, five. So how many ones are left here? One, two, three, four. Four ones are left. So we'll write four here. Then they have told six, uh, in tens we have four, six minus four. So we have to strike out four blocks, four tens. So one, two, three, four. So how many tens are left? Two tens are left. So two tens and four ones. How much is two tens and four ones? It is twenty-four. Okay, two tens and four ones is twenty-four. Okay, so let's do the problem here. Forty-eight minus thirty-four. It is already done. Eight minus four is how much? It is four, and four minus three is. One. Okay, so same way. Thirty-seven minus fifteen. How much is seven minus five? When you take away five from seven, two will be left. So two ones and three minus one is how much? Three minus one is two. So the answer is twenty-two. Then fifty-five minus twenty-four. So first we'll do five minus four. So take away uh four from five. How much will be left? One will be left. Then five minus two. Hold five in one hand and uh, then take away two from that. So you will have three left. So thirty one is the answer. Okay, so the answer is thirty one. Then sixty eight minus forty four. So first we'll subtract the ones. Eight ones minus four ones. So how much is eight minus four? When you uh, hold eight in your hands and then take out four from that, how much will be left? Four will be left. So eight minus four is four. Then six minus four. If you take away four from six, how much will remain? Two will remain. So six minus four is two. So sixty-eight minus forty-four is twenty-four. Then next one, seventy-five minus thirty-two. How much is seventy-five minus thirty-two? Five minus two. When you do, what will remain? Five minus two is three. Okay, then seven minus three. Then we subtract ten. Seven minus three. So if you take away three from seven, four will be left. Okay, so seventy-five minus thirty-two is forty-three. Then eighty-nine minus sixty-three. So nine minus three. First we'll subtract the ones. Nine minus three. So if I take away three from nine, what will be remaining? Six will be remaining. Then eight minus six. So moving on to tens. Eight minus six. If I take away six from eight, two will remain. So twenty six. So eighty nine minus sixty three is twenty six. Okay, so this is how you do subtraction without regrouping. Now I want you to do the last four problems for homework. That is sixty seven minus twenty, fifty nine minus thirty six, sixty nine minus twenty five, and eighty six minus forty two. Okay, do those questions for homework and come. And we'll continue with subtraction with regrouping in the next class. All right, students. I'll see you all in the next class. Thank you.